Hi, my name's David, and I am going to be helping people with their questions that they've asked. The most useful advice any of you have ever gotten. Uh, I have a column coming out in a newspaper, enough, which they don't You don't have enough don't to exist. do. You have to, you have to find more hobbies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend is a major Hamilton fan, and I want to incorporate a lyric from the show into my proposal. What lyric should I choose? Michael from Boston. Damn, Michael. You know way more Hamilton lyrics than I do at this point. Um, <laughs> so I have forgotten way more than I remember about that show. All I can think of is that you want her to just end with, I do, I do, I do, I do, ooh. I want to be a singer when I grow up, but I get nervous to perform in front of people. How do I get over my stage fright? This is Zoe from Brooklyn who is eight years old. Uh -huh. Zoe, I also get nervous every time I perform. I'm nervous right now. What I'm doing right now that hopefully you can't see off the cameras, I'm playing with my rings a lot. So one thing that I do before I get on stage is I try to try to jump around. So I used to run track and I had, uh, the only way I know how to warm up is by doing something physical. So I like run around and get my heart rate up really fast and make sure I can feel like I'm doing something. And sometimes that makes me less nervous. And then I also just try to remember that I really actually love what I'm doing. And it sounds like you probably really love being on stage too. And so all you have to do is get out there. Once you're out there, the rest will take care of itself. I am trying to expand my vinyl collection. What are the top five albums I need to add to my collection? David from Los Angeles. Dang, this is a great question. Um, the answers to this would change for me every day. But I would say Rufus Eyes by Rufus and Chaka Khan. Probably Uncle Jam Wants You, Funkadelic. Good Kid Mad City or Damn by Kendrick Lamar. You need a Prince album in there. If you don't have one, you could kind of take your pick. But you know, Dirty Mind is a good one. Today we will say um, Dookie Stick by George Duke. What is your take on ghosting, okay or not okay? Lauren from Venice, California. I am old enough that I am only peripherally sure I know what ghosting is. But I'm gonna say, with most things like that, there are probably moments when ghosting is appropriate. <laughs> but you gotta look at the root causes, like everything else. Can shy people wear bold clothing? Jamie from Las Vegas. I pretty much exclusively wear bold clothing and I'm probably the shyest person you've met. So I hope the answer to that is yes or I've been doing it wrong. I used to, I used to rock like an orange jumpsuit quite a bit, like one of those flight suits. I used to rock this tiger fur coat with a huge purple bow tie Ooh. and like no shirt. I was, I was getting it in. Yeah, so here's the, the great thing about wearing bold clothing when you're shy is that people want to talk about your clothes and not you. It's actually sort of the best armor you can have. One of my employees called in sick, but then posted a picture of herself on a beach on Instagram stories. It was clearly live. Do I call them out on it? Gabby from Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? But you should wait. You should wait. You should wait and do it, you know, when they're not expecting it. Like sometime when you're just hanging out or like in the middle of a meeting. I don't know what you do. But if there's some time when you're totally doing something else and then just mention something about being on the beach on Instagram, I think that's the way to do it. If you could talk to your 18-year-old self, what is the most important piece of advice you would give? Tanya from Salt Lake City. I would say stop worrying about the timeline. When I was 18, I, I, and then again when I was 21, and when I was 25, and when I was 30, you know, I sort of had this feeling that, that I, I, I need to make it by a certain point. What, and I didn't even know what making it meant, you know? But I've, I've wasted a lot of time in my life being stressed about the when of things, and I think that time is better spent just doing things. Uh, so that's my advice. What do you do if you don't like one of your nephews? <laughs> Kurt from Seattle. <laughs> uh, Kurt, man. Well, the thing about family is they're your family regardless, right? So there's that, but it, it depends on, uh, on the degree of not like. So like if, if they're annoying to you or whatever, you can cope with that and you can, you know, you can check in and out with them, but maybe just don't invite them over every, every day. <laughs> hang out with them like every other day or something. You know, there's definitely been members of my family who were like being around them was detrimental to my safety. Uh, and they don't, you can cut them out, actually. They will still be your family, you can still love them, but you don't have to talk to them. <laughs>
How long do you have to wait before dating a close friend's ex? For context, they dated for three months. It was barely a relationship. Is he still off limits? Yelena from San Francisco. I mean, it sounds like you've already made your decision. Yelena, it sounds, <laughs> it, real talk, it sounds like you're already dating. So I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> you've saved the world.